الصوارم كي تسترد المظالم حتى الاراضي نسام Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, let's finish. Let's finish. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Okay, okay. Oh, if you need, you need his help. Do you need his help? Do you need his help? You need his help. You need his help. You know he has a point. You need his help. You need his help. Is that caveman behavior? Is that caveman behavior, by the way? Is that caveman no, behavior? He's, inter he's inter interrupting. That's not good. No. Do you want to continue your cover? No. But um, I'll let you say what you want. I, uh, I'm glad. No, I don't, no, I don't hate juice. I like juice. I, my my, my friends are juice. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. I don't hate juice. Please, I love please. juice. Yes, in fact. Okay. Now I'm moving on. Now, since no. you, since you've just said that now, yeah. and by the way, let me just tell you something about juice. Let me answer this question. The Prophet Muhammad, that you've read his seerah, married a Jewish woman. Her name was Sophia yeah. bin Hayy. Yeah, number he, one, he number one. He hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Father, yeah, he did. He killed but he married not her himself, husband, but he's general. But he married, he married, married her the same Number day. one, hold on, hold on. Yeah. In, the, in the Quran, which is a religious book which we follow that you said you've read, yes? The Prophet Moses has been mentioned no less than 138 times. That's not times. relevant. No, it's, it's relevant bullshit. because he was Jewish. You're he was Jewish. again. No, I'm not, I'm speaking yeah, Jewish. Yeah, you're bullshitting. Listen, hold on. The Prophet Moses, you're talking about Jews. So what Jews, yeah? What? So are you going to let me speak or is this, are you afraid of the... Are you afraid of response? What the Quran specifically says about Jewish people yeah. is that they were actually chosen people. It does say this actually, it affirms that narrative. Yeah. It says, oh, in the Faddal Nakum al Alameen. And it also so he, says he has, that he has pigs. preferred the. And also, no, some five, of no, no, it doesn't say this. It doesn't say this. That Not Jews and Christians the Jews are, doesn't say are that. mischief makers. They commit facade. And therefore, according to 532 and 33, they shall be killed. Actually, Just 532. By, actually, by okay, being, okay. Do you know what? Being, okay, let me, can I respond? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, stop, stop. So you, just said, you, you just said, according to 532 and 533, it says that Jews are mischief makers. Let me recite for you. Ah, well, hold on. Let me recite. You asked me to recite. I will recite from memory 532 and 533. Fine. Are you ready for it? And I'm going to... And then, do you know what's interesting about this very verse? It's going to humiliate him even worse. He will not. Excuse me. This is, I'm saying in Arabic and then translate in English. We have written upon the children of Israel. That whoever kills a person, listen, listen to me. This is what 532 says. He mentioned 532. Excuse me. Let me finish. I'm mentioning what he mentioned 532. I mentioned 532. Whoever kills a person, the Quran is saying this. Whoever kills a person for other than corruption in the land or for them killing themselves, then, who, then it's like they've killed all of humankind. The Quran is saying that if you kill one person, it's like you killed everyone. And whoever saves a life, it's as if he saved all of the humankind. The very verse that you are trying to quote, misquote in my presence. How dare you? I did. No, hold on, hold on. No. The very verse that you try to misquote in my presence is actually a verse that tells you that if you kill one person, whether they are Muslim, Christian, Jewish, or any other thing, it's like you've killed all the human beings on the earth. And if you save one human being, it's like you've saved all the human beings on the earth. So you lied about the Quran, and anyone can fact check me now. Excuse me, anyone can fact check me now. How many phones are here? Go ahead and go on your phone, go to chapter five, go to verse number 32, and you will see what I've just said. Yeah. So are you going to apologize no. for misquoting the Quran? I'm going to clarify your lie. And your lie is based on... Why are you going to talk? Hey, hey. Be quiet, Excuse man. Get, get out of here, man. Please, get out please, of here, man. Please, please, okay, please. oh yeah, yeah. He ran, sure, away. Yeah. He ran yeah. away. No, don't worry about him for a second. Just go um, ahead. Yeah. How are you yeah. going to apologize for misquoting the Quran in my presence? You are... And in front of the presence of the people here in Norway, Oslo. You are huh? very good. Are you going to apologize for lying? May I answer now? Hey. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You are a very good Muslim liar. Okay, get the Quran now. Problem Anybody want to, uh, any disbeliever? I am oh, you get angry. Now. Yeah. You're getting angry, are you? Yeah. You're a caveman, uh, what, I think you are. What, yeah, oh, about bad like behavior. Caveman, yeah. But um, um, this verse. You're out of your depth, I, boy. I encourage anyone to look up this verse, and what you will see is killing someone because okay. this okay. person Excuse has. Excuse me, has are, you, are you Muslim? You're not Muslim, yeah? 
All right, can you go on the Quran, yeah. go Google, chapter 5, no, verse 32. Anybody me. do it and you can see. Can you, go ahead and do it. Fact check me now. Yeah. Fact you do that. check and me now. And when you fact check him, go ahead. you should... Anyone get the Quran can and you shut open up? it? Can you shut up? No, get it in English. Can you shut up? Get because you don't, you, you won't allow me to finish. Because you How know, dare you? you know you are a liar and you liar. Would, okay. would not Let's like see if I'm a liar or not. Okay. I've quoted so it in the Arabic. Will you please shut up and let me answer, okay? When the Quran 532 He's says angry. whoever kills uh, unless for fasad, oh, wait, someone mischief read it. Can you read it? in the land, you read it, my mischief, friend. corruption you read it. in the land. You read it. Come here, please. Come here. What's your you name? Are, you are hey, you. Are you watching my videos again? Pause that and do something for your akhirah first. Islamnet is establishing a Scandinavian mega mosque and dawah center in Oslo, the fastest growing city in Europe. Do you want to share in that reward? Click the link below and donate now. Marcus, trying. thank you, my friend. Let, let him read it. You He's are, not Muslim. Let him read it. Read it, please. So read it, read it. Let him read it. Let him read it. Because read the, it loud. The, the key, but, the key uh, word is, here. Is, is, let is, him read it. Shut up. Let you him read it. Show some respect. You are a guest in my country. You are a guest in my country. It's not your country. You're not. You're not anything. The key word here is facade. Yes, say it in Norwegian. Say it in Norwegian. Say it in Norwegian. Google the word facade. Because okay, can, say it in whatever country or language you want. Go ahead and say it loud. The word okay. facade therefore, go on. means opposition against let Islam. Let him say something. If you, let him say something. If you, I want to listen to this, please. Please, please. Yeah. Let him just let say the verse. Yeah, yeah because this, this guy knows let him that, the, that the key word here is facade. Lush. Arabic facade. Everyone, Google facade and find out that this verse actually don't be scared. Uh, Go ahead, man. This, this verse actually we allows killing of, of anyone Israel who, that how slaves anyone who opposes unless Islam, it be opposes political Islam. punishment for murder or for spreading mischief on earth shall be as if he had sail, slain all making and all mankind, mankind. mankind. Yeah. and he who saves a life shall be as if he had given life to all mankind so who was right and who was wrong i was, was he right, right? then the mischief was he right yes or no? the corruption yes. in the land was he right, yes or no? right. you know so, yeah, he was, you was, know. was he a liar was he a liar, was he a liar? No. yes or no, no. The facade no. Is, uh, facade is the key. was he a liar To, to make you believe that... Uh, That's it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. It's done. Mischief is... Um, Are we done here? Uh, now, now, let me just... I'll, I'll give you... I'm going to put the cherry on... Any kind of op political opposition against Islam is mischief. It's uh, corruption oh. in the oh, land. Okay. It's facade. Thank you for so your that exegesis gives of you, that verse. Thank you, yes. Um, yeah, the, gives obligation me the obligation to kill me because... Oh, yes, because, yeah. Because I uh, because you, op oppose yeah, political oppose. Islam. Okay. So uh, how, do you, how do you make sense? Verse, how do you make sense? This verse okay. is actually saying yeah. that uh, yeah, it's illegal to kill uh, okay. about 80% oh, of the planets. Oh, okay, um, I didn't read that when I read it, but anyway. Yeah, thank but you. it's yeah. facade. You know that. You, no, you, no, you're no. not an idiot. You know this. No, but you're trying because, to lie to okay, the public. Okay, let me ask you a question. Public. Let me ask you a question. You read the seal yeah. of the Prophet, yeah? What? You read the biography of the Prophet Muhammad, yes? Ibn Ishaq, yep. Ibn Ishaq, okay, fantastic. Now, he said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Man qatala mu'ahadan. I'm sorry, I'll say it in English, but I'm saying in Arabic. Let me fa say in Arabic so that you can ch check it up. Give me a second. Are you Irish or are you Norwegian? I don't even know what kind of accent that is. I think she's attracted to me. How could she not be when she's hanging around this guy all day and then she sees some uh, six foot seven individual that comes from Norway and discopes the whole thing? Please stay there. Oh, I will. How do you explain? How do you explain? The prophets Muhammad saying, "Men qatala mu'ahadan, whoever kills a non-combatant disbeliever, lam yarih ra'ihat al jannah. He will not be. He will not smell the fragrance of heaven. How do you understand that? You can understand it by see, looking at the hadith that uh, when Muhammad was asked, well, uh, why, why do, why do? But how do you understand this hadith? How do you understand that one? You have to look at the hadith. No, no. How do you understand this hadith? That's my question. You have to look at the. How do you understand the, this hadith? The hadith. No, no, no. How do you understand this hadith? Muhammad said that. Um, yeah. When yeah. we attack this innocent little village at night. Okay. And how do you, no, no. And one how do you of the warriors. How do you understand this hadith? And one 
of How do you understand the hadith? respect me. I'm answering you. No, I want this hadith. You're going somewhere about when, hadith. When, when, Why should okay, I respect so, you? So the you, man who's burning you, up Quran is saying, please respect me. You are, are cherry-picking. Can you imagine this guy? Cherry picking. Please respect me to respect know that him. I'm burning the book of books. If you, if you, if you no, want to understand to one hadith, you have to look at. Uh, okay. 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 You have to okay. look at uh, uh, Muhammad. Yeah. You, you, you yeah. Have to yeah. Uh, there's another behavior. Oh, behavior. Uh, yeah. So let me ask so you a question. What yeah. he said yeah. is. Yeah. 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 Uh, when, yeah. When, when, when the Go warrior uh, was concerned that he might kill some women or, chi or children. Yeah. Children. Yeah. Uh, children? yeah. Or child? Or? Um, the prophet said, yeah, "They prophet. are of them." So you are meaning, the prophet. Meaning the children and the women are. Infidels, uh, so minimum. just go ahead and kill them. I'm aware if, of the hadith. Yeah. I'm aware of the hadith. So, yeah. So yeah, how, how do I, okay, so, I'm aware of the hadith. Yeah. I'm aware of the hadith. Yeah. And it doesn't, because if you understand that hadith to mean that the Prophet Sallallahu said that he, to, to kill the women and children, he didn't. In fact, let, let me tell you, the hadith actually states when he saw the woman on the battlefield that was dead, and I'll say it in Arabic and then translate it. He says, It wasn't for her to be killed. Yeah, and, yeah, and we know why. Because why Muhammad, was it? Why? he liked to take slaves, sex slaves. So whenever a woman is killed... So, but you just contradicted yeah, you know, yourself. Yeah, no. You contradicted yourself. So no, is she, is she not, a sex slave I or is she not, being killed? Do I'm I have not. to kill them or take them no, as slaves? No. And you, uh, which one you is know it? you're bullshitting. Which one is it? No, which one is it? The, the hadith that I is was Is it slaves quoting? or killing? Which one is it? Because you said it, I have to both. kill them. I'm and you know, both, huh? you know, oh, it's the, both the, now. The, the, the hadith that I was quoting <laughs> it, um, yeah, was making yeah. it illegal to kill uh, uh, women no. and children. No, let me, if, if, if you have I'm, to. I'm started, but let mainly, me, okay. the, yeah, the, the yeah. main, to, main uh, yeah. issue from Muhammad is, yeah. was to, to kill the men and no take problem. the women and children as sex slaves. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Since you're an expert in the Quran, not knowing the six pillars of creed, not knowing the Prophet's full name, not being qualified in any university, even in your country, being a jobless man that you are. And let me ask you a question, even though you're all yeah. those things. And let me ask you, your expert yeah, no, opinion on. as an honest. Just ask questions. You don't have to okay. harass people. Just ask the questions. The Quran states in chapter 60, verse 8. لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتقصتوا إليهم إن الله يحب المقصتين That God does not deny you, does not tell you not to. Deal justly and kindly with those disbelievers that don't take you out of your home or don't, don't try and kill you that you deal justly with them, deal justly, yeah? yeah? And that you're good with them because God loves the just. Now, this is a verse in the Quran that's not abrogated. How do you explain this verse? Well, looking at the word justly explains everything because oh, yes. what's just in Islam, yeah. that's Sharia. And what's and just in our alayhi. country is um, uh, something more humane. So no, justly, I'm asking, justly no, in Islam. Alayhi. Justly in Islam is something be good with them. different. There's two words here. There's two operative something words. Different. There's two operative words. One word is antabarruhum to be good with them. The other one and to to alayhim and to be just with them. So being good with them and just. How do I be good and just with a disbeliever and kill them at the same time? Can you tell me how? You can uh, you can kill them if you follow, for example, yeah. 532 or 109, okay. 109 okay. verses. Okay. I think that, you don't know what you're talking uh, about. You know that I'm right. You no, know, I know you're know right. What, if I'm, you know okay. what facade I, listen, means. I know you what facade means. Facade, and you're yeah. wrong. You're wrong. I'm, explaining to, I'm explaining to you, you're incorrect about this. So these kinds of intellectual expeditions, this kind of intellectual activism couldn't be done, wouldn't be done without your charitable donations. Because this is an integral aspect of the Dawah. That we challenge those kinds of views that we're seeing in the Western world, which makes international media now we have a chance to respond. IslamNet has established an entire center doing the work, educating people of Islam, crushing Islamophobia. Are we going to be the people? We are at a juncture now as a community. Are we going to be the people who are going to contribute to this cause? Or are we going to be stingy? Allah says in the Quran, Allah says in the Quran that you people, 
You people have been called to give in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To give charity in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So amongst you will be those who will be stingy. And whoever is stingy, miserly, he's only being stingy upon his own, his own self. And Allah is the rich one, the one free of need. And you and me, you, Allah says, are the poor ones. And if you turn away, Allah will replace us, replace me and you, replace you, Allah says, with a people other than you, and they will not be like you. So the best way to prove to yourself and to Allah that you're not among the stingy ones, the miserly ones, the weak ones, is that you give in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have an opportunity. The link is below. Just click it. What's it going to take? 10 seconds of your time? 15, 20 seconds? You wouldn't even use that kind of time to blow your nose in a handkerchief. The time is now. Click the link. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.